So something we didn't talk too much about at the beginning, but which is a compelling reason to use an object-oriented framework for your code, is that when you use procedural code, it's very difficult to test. And by tests, I mean automated unit tests. So the idea of a unit test, and we've talked about the different types of tests there are, is that it allows us to test a single function or class on its own without depending on any other class or any other code. By being able to test these units individually, we isolate out what might be the problem. If, for example, we're dependent on several other classes to be able to test this one class, then if something goes wrong, we don't necessarily know that it's within the class that we're testing. It could be in those other classes that we're dependent on as well. Kind of a really cool side effect, though, of building our code so that we can unit test is that we also make all of our components independent of one another, so it becomes much easier to plug them into contexts that you didn't anticipate to begin with. This is called loose coupling. It's connecting things together without necessarily expecting a particular connection to be there. In this next section, we're going to look at PHP unit, which is the tool that we can use to unit test PHP. We'll get PHP unit set up, we'll create a couple of tests, we'll add a few more, just to show how easy it is to create the tests, and then we'll run them to demonstrate how they work. And we won't come back to building additional tests for the code that we build for the rest of the series, but it would be a good exercise to come back and try to find different things to test.